Hello and welcome back to Speed Model. Last time, we turned our drawing into a 3D mesh. Today, we're going to give it a coat of color. You're watching episode 4 of Speed Model. In this episode, what we're trying to do is we want to apply a texture map to the model. Basically, this is taking an image and applying parts of the image to the surface of the mesh. To achieve this, we need to specify what is known as a UV mapping between the coordinates on the surface and the coordinates on the image using a technique called unwrapping. Then, I paint in the entire mesh with a simple flash color. This clearly shows me where all the body parts have been mapped to in a texture image. This coincidentally also reveals an issue with the model which I haven't noticed before, as shown by the black stripe near the ankle. Unfortunately, fixing this seemed to require the unwrapping step to be performed again. As you can see, the existing texture is still there, but now completely mapped to the wrong places. I had to regenerate the mapping and redo the coloration. After that is done, I begin roughly sketching in the facial features. None of these red marks will be visible in the final model. These are just references for setting up the texture image later. Now, the way I'm constructing this mesh is, I'm just drawing on the clothes. This isn't how things are really done in the industry, but I decided I wanted to go a little bit more simplified for this project. I adjust the mesh a little more. Thankfully, it did not interfere with the UV mapping, and I was able to proceed with the sketching in of features. In the next step, I begin roughly shading in the colors of the various parts. This allows me to identify which segment on the texture image maps to what color. Once again, this step is a rough one, since we are just building a reference. In everything goes to GIMP. I import the original texture for use as only a reference. I draw the actual texture on a new layer, and begin filling in the colors, based on the reference. Notice how I make no effort to stay within the boundaries. That's fine because those parts of the texture aren't mapped to any parts of the mesh. The edges will naturally remain crisp thanks to the mapping. When the whole process is done, I compare my colors to that of the reference image, and decide that some tweaks are in order. Finally, we proceed to the most important step, and that is filling in the face. I copy and paste the eyes and mouth from the reference image, and deform them to fit the proportions of the stretch texture map. Now you can see why drawing out the positions of these features was important, since the texture map could be stretched or squashed like this in the unwrapping process. After a bit of deliberation, I also decided I wanted to add black outlines to all the features. This is me using GIMP's brush with the smooth stroke option turned on to fill in all the outlines. Finally, I do a little bit of touch up work and we're all ready to import the new texture into Blender. And this is what it looks like all put together. We now have a nicely textured character. And there you go! Now we have a fully texture mapped 3D model that is ready to take to the next step. Very soon, we will be able to rig up this model and start doing animation. But first, we probably have to think about installing some hair. That's all there is for this episode. Until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, consider checking out the rest of my work on my channel. Alternatively, you may be interested in the last season of Speed Model. If you'd like to show me some monetary support, I am on Patreon. You can find a link to my campaign in the video description. Of course, you can simply like this video or leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. To keep in touch with my future uploads, do subscribe to this channel. And for even more updates, check out the official Twitter account for this channel at 0612TV. Thank you for your support.